Today's hashtag daily debate question for at Never Meet Junkie Radio, Conor McGregor's latest run in with the law is blank. He goes, fill in the blank. Here's how you can fill it in. Okay. It's no big deal. It's just a hiccup. It's a bad sign. Or, hey, this could be career threatening. You notice how I escalated there using yeah. my, the tone of my voice? So what do you think? I'm going to go with it's a bad sign. Okay. Um, here's why. Normally, I think I would say it's a hiccup, but one thing that people don't bring up too often, one of our college brought it up as well, this dude's on a work visa, okay? You can only get away with so many things before they threaten to take that away from you. So let's just say that were to happen, then that doesn't mean that he can't fight in the UFC ever again, because UFC isn't just stateside, so I wouldn't say it's catastrophic, but that would really hurt. Not being able to fight. He's a Vegas or out. New York City fighter. Yeah, over here. So, I think it's very problematic. I'm going to go with that. Well, and not just that, but... You, you feel like he's inching on... He's getting close to, to, yeah, to getting banished here. Hmm. And you got to remember, too, like... I think it would take more than that, though, wouldn't it? Mm, oh, I mean, what happened in Brooklyn was not the greatest of things but where you're just banned from leaving or entering the country or? things are getting tight man hmm. i think uh okay so you're going with a bad sign i think yeah. it's no big deal and i'll tell you why because growing up in la i've seen a lot of celebrities go through we'll call them hiccups okay or speed bumps over and over like i can't tell you how many times Lindsay lohan just fucked up man whether it was drugs duis disrespecting judges and yeah eventually she did land in the pokey but what didn't stop happening is an opportunity to entertain maybe her the trajectory of her movie career went in another direction or whatever it is she wanted to do but there's there just always seems to be an opportunity for her to make some money or be tied into something a reality show or whatever and for conor mcgregor he happens to be able to do what not a lot of me, a lot of people can do, and that's fight and sell tickets to his fight or pay-per-views at a, at a level that's basically unmatched. Mm -hmm. So the UFC is going to do what they can to protect them. Now, the question says his latest run-in with the law. All of them accumulating: Brooklyn, Las Vegas, this future run-ins. Yeah, that could re that could result in something. But this one, this latest one, I think can be, I think it can be fixed. You don't need no Michael Cohen for this one. Uh, some minor league dude can fix this one. This is an easy one. You go to the guy, bring some memorabilia, hopefully uh, an apology from Connor. You know, something that just says, "Hey, that was my bad" or whatever. You obviously mm -hmm. replace the phone, and I think you're on your way. If you have to, you'll maybe there'll be some sort of a a lawsuit that you have to deal with, but I don't think it'll have to be some major payout. And again, it's not anything he can't afford. But you're looking at it only from the fighting angle. This dude can keep fighting in the UFC, but he also has to keep winning to be able to sell this many pay-per-views. And right now, that's kind of not happening for him. So if I'm managing Conor McGregor, I'm saying, hey, man, what about, what about these suits we're putting out? What about this prop proper 12? There are a lot of fans that just don't like, they're entitled. And they don't like the idea of them not being able to snap a photo or whatever. They get upset. So if I come over here to the beautiful Mandalay Bay and I order whiskey and I go, what do you got? And they go, Jameson, proper 12. And I go, ah, you know what? Screw that, Conor McGregor. Give me some Jameson. I think that's going to happen a lot. Uh, if I'm buying a suit, I might have gotten one of these Conor McGregor suits just to try it out. But now I might say, eh, give me that army, Armani instead. Or Dockers in your case, whatever. <laughs> I, think in, I think it can affect a lot of the stuff that he's doing outside of the cage. So I think in the long run, whatever he was going to make this year, chop, chop some of that off because of an incident like that. Like Lindsay really? Lohan, Lindsay Lohan, yeah, she's not getting in jail, but she ain't doing anything, right? When's the last movie she put out? Well... Uh, Paris Hilton. I, I, I think I, I see your point, but I think whatever he was going to make this year didn't just get cut in half. I don't know if I go that far. Anyway, there's the daily debate brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio Team.